Okay, so this is how you create your group page, or should I say your business page. First you select on your main screen, this drop down menu, you go to create page, and then you're going to go to public figure, right there, choose a category, uh, uh, probably the closest one would be entrepreneur, and then you'll put your name there, or whatever name, so, like mine is Carissa Escamilla, and then you want to put independent consultant, with 31. Okay, so then you'll get started. And then I'll take you to your main page once it's created. The first step is to add a profile picture but if you're not ready for that, you can just skip it. If you need help creating one, I can do that for you also. Unless you want to do it on your own. And then that's for a cover photo. We'll skip that for now. You can always do that after you have them ready. So here's our page now. You can invite your friends, but I suggest you not doing that until you get everything else started. Okay, so the first thing you will do is change your picture. Um, for that picture, you want something that's just like uh, a headshot, like trying to make it professional or how you want to represent yourself because this is your personal um, page. You can um, change the create page thing down here. You can just put, change the username on there if you, if you go by something else or just put Carissa E. Or something like that. So I'll tell you if it's taken. I think I have mine's Carissa's totes and more, so because that's what people associate with my um, business page. That's me branding myself, so people can find me in all my on my page, on my Facebook page, on my group page. I try to put the name similar so that people can find me. Okay, so then you can add your cover photo right there so that would be something that shows that you're a 31 consultant or shows your family or shows your why so you can include different things and then you can add a short description on uh, what this page is about you can see my page for more examples and then right here let me go back to show you where I clicked at um, see all page tips and then send people to your website. Those are things that you can that um, um, if you know friends, you can invite them to like your page. That's how you bid, uh, bring more views to your page to make it more popular so that people will want to come and check out your page. Then from here, you can create a group. So where we do that at is... This shows all the different things you can change in your page. If you're not sure what it's all about, then I just suggest you leaving it the way it is. Okay. Um, we got publishing tools. You can create your own tabs, which I have done. Um, I can show you that in a separate video, but right now we'll just keep it simple until we get everything set up and then slowly you can work on that. Um, let's see, page, let's go back to the main page. Let's see more. And go down to here on the side where it says groups. And you can link a group to build a community around here. So you can create a group from here. 
and this will be your VIP group. So we could put, you can come up with your own name, but you have to remember you can't use the word 31 or the number 31 in your VIP group. So you would, you could put, like mine is Carissa's Totes and More. There's some that you would put, or use like Totally, let's see, Totally Awesome VIP group, or something like that. You can play around with it, have fun with different uh, wording and stuff like that, or do associate something with your name. Something that's easy for people to find. And then it does have to be a, at least a closed group. And then you create that. And then you just pick an icon. There. So just keep it like that. Keep it simple. And then it's creating your group now. Your VIP page. So here we go. And right here I'll show a closed group. And then you can upload your picture here. I kind of try to keep the style the same, or I change my uh, group photo according to month. That way I can um, highlight some of the new things. And then right here, you can start uh, personalizing it. You you can um, add a uh, right post, tell people what your group is about down here at the description, add a description, and then you can. Um, do a welcome message and you can pin it to the top saying, welcome, I'm a new consultant, I joined 31, I'm so excited, um, thanks for joining my group, you'll find out about all things 31, all our sales, all our um, benefits, All whenever the new books come out, you'll be the first to know. And there you go. So now the group is created and then so when you go to your home page, You'll see it on the side here. Or if it doesn't show up on the side, you can go to your groups. And then you can add it to your list. So it'll show up in your favorites. So these are all my favorites that are groups that I'm in or I manage. Right here shows the groups I manage. But if, the, if your group isn't at the top in your favorites, then you'll go to this. And then you'll go to... Um, where is it at? Well, usually it says add to favorites. I don't know why it's not doing that yet. There you go. Or you could do that pin to shortcuts. There you go. All right. So if you have any more questions, let me know.